G'day guys, Matt from Extreme Auto to Caravan and Kevin here. So part three of it is um, what I call the, the ultimate setup. This is incorporating two DC chargers, your three-way fridge, an auxiliary battery, and your caravan battery system all tied into one. So using the red and grey Anderson plug system again, start with the vehicle, main battery, and this one here has a solid Anderson grey line. Uh, it's this middle one here, this one. And this is because it needs to feed the DC charger that's in the caravan. So nothing on this line. It's on a separate line, fused of course, close to the battery. And a grey Anderson plug in the rear. Heavy duty gauge cable, APNS minimum, or whatever is required for the DC charge. In this case, we're going for 25 amp DC chargers. So APNS is sufficient for that one. There's only a four to five meter run on this. And notice there's no isolator on that line again. So direct feed for this middle line here. That'll feed this DC charger, supply this with the necessary current to charge this battery bank absolutely perfectly. It's what is um, required from this DC charger. Read the book, it'll tell you all about it. So, you are not pulling any power from this system, from this line. It has nothing to do with this DC charger or this battery. So just to recap, grey and some plug in the back of the vehicle in this setup, with the DC charger in the van, must come direct from the main battery not from the aux battery in the vehicle. So this first line here, this is just a simple DC charger installed in your vehicle. So it's own feed, it's own DC charger, charging that battery. Now yes, you can have your little solar input coming here, just like here. Uh, we're specifically talking about the alternator. So pumping in amps this way. So you're not taking any power, you're not robbing this battery, whether it's under your bonnet or in the back of your vehicle. Whatever's coming out of this DC charger, is only going into this battery only. Nothing's coming out of it. Not a three-way fridge, not another um, DC charger, nothing. Its job is to put this battery at 100% after however long. And that's all its job is. So that's its own separate circuit. Your grey end supply gets solid all the way to the back of the vehicle to supply this one with DC power. Just like this one, it's the same thing. And then back to the red one, which hasn't changed. So. You've got your red Anderson plug, isolated here, red, all the way through to the three-way fridge. Like I said, the D-plus wire on the automatic fridge can be looped over to this feed. As long as there is an isolator here, it will shut down. If not, you can run the trigger wire separately. It's up to you. Um, you know, 12-pin plugs will run it into pin number 12. A lot of different ways to do it. But this way works completely fine. Um, and you actually find it standing on most fans. So three-way fridge on its own circuit nothing to do with each charging line. So when this thing is pulling 17 plus amps, the supply for this hasn't been affected. When this DC charger is you know, in bulk mode supplying this with 25 amps, its line will not be affected. When this one has a demand on this line of you know, 25 to 30 amps, its line will not be affected. They're, they've got nothing to do with each other. As long as your alternator is spinning and supplying those amps, they're all coming from the one spot, point A. So you want to get power from point A to point B as easy and as efficient as you can. So this is the ultimate setup incorporating two DC chargers and a three-way fridge, whether it be automatic or not. Um, that's just a D plus wire for the uh, automatic fridge, but they always need an isolator for the fridge. So red and grey at the rear of the vehicle, red and grey on the drawbar of the van. Simple. Works every time.